want to take a look at the the buddy falls that we do in judo. These are basically it's like the side fall form of ukemi that we see in Aikido and judo both. It's just that this way we're going to be doing it with a partner. Cameron's going to assist me with these and uh, if you're not familiar with side fall already I encourage you to take a look at the video uh, in this particular section on ukemi and, and review that become familiar with that before you come back into this lesson. I'm going to work with the assumption that you already know a little bit about buddy fall so it'll be a little easier. With buddy fall, you have one partner who's falling, the other partner is holding him. Now as the holding partner, my obligation is to give Cameron a nice clean spot to grab. I've got to keep my back nice and straight, bending from my knees to support his fall. As I bend from my knees, I want my weight on my toes, not on my heels. I want to keep that back straight. If I bend over, my center of gravity gets disturbed, and it's very easy for me to lose my balance, especially when I'm supporting the weight of my partner who's falling. So we'll go through a couple of different formats of this and uh, from beginner all the way up to advanced and hopefully you'll be able to learn a little something from this. As we start off with this, I'm going to hold my jacket open. It gives Cameron a nice easy spot to grab. As he comes in to make his grip, one of the things I like to do is to reach over the top and grab the wrist and cradle it like this. This is a, the easy solution. Some guys like to come underneath, but this sort of leans toward an arm bar as he falls, which is very unsafe. Likewise, just doing it with one hand, I don't feel like I've got enough control, especially if my partner is, is sweaty or uh, if I happen to lose my grip. By reaching over, this gives me a very secure grip, makes it very easy for me to support my partner. With the beginner form, he's going to step forward with his inside foot and he's going to do basic side fall, where he's just going to let the foot roll forward and then sit down. Now you'll notice with this particular form, go ahead that I have to move as the holder, I have to sort of move to accommodate his weight because he's doing it as a beginner form and I'm gonna to have to actually shift. Now once you get familiar with side fall, you've been in a couple of weeks, you can typically go into the more advanced, a little more advanced version of this where he's just gonna let the outside leg slide. And by letting that outside leg slide, you'll notice I don't really have to move any. So you do these on both sides. And typically we do these in a line format where we would do four, five, six, eight guys in a line. And we would say, okay, everybody does this side, and then we would turn and everybody would do the other side. As you're getting more and more advanced with your ukemi practice, you can kick up in the air a little bit. And this becomes a, a very easy fall. Again, back is nice and straight. The thing to look for with uh, supporting your partner is I look at the condition that he's in when he hits the ground. If he's laying flat, if he's more on his back, I'm not really supporting him enough. If he's way up on his side, or if he's, especially if you can see daylight right underneath here, you're lifting up on the shoulder way too hard and you're taking a chance on injuring your partner. You want to have a little bit of tension in the relationship, but not too much, but not too little. It's a balancing act. The only way you're going to get better at it is to do it. And that's a nice, easy way to do it. So. That's the basics of, of judo buddy falls, and I uh, hope you enjoyed that and find it useful.